property. Just gonna just gonna cast confusion on the whole. No, you're not gonna do My anything. Don't be silly. You're gonna cast cast confusion on all of you. <laughs> you're right. a queer fellow. What you want? Might as well just drink these potions. We're all doomed. I know. I know. We're all doomed. Uh huh. Go on. What is your command? I don't think I ever blessed. It's difficult though, because you don't have the time to just bless. Spit it out. But I like what I had going on there. Holding him with that so I can throw web. And he does get webbed, so that's not a bad idea. I don't need to drink the potion of invisibility right now. Right, what's I may this not head? have to drink it at all. Let's move over there. Life. Let's move over here. Whatever. Let's lightning. Paralyzation. I wonder how effective that wand of paralyzation would be. Just a little bit. No, a little bit. There we go. Let's just wake everyone up, though. <laughs> I just love that this is how I pull the target now. I really feel like this game. Oops. No, no. We need you to continue doing that just for this once. Hello. Branwyn, I need you to bless, which I should have done before I did all this. Yep. I need you doing what you were doing with those. Yes. And you with these. Or at least the biting. Let's use the biting. Add those together. And. It don't matter. Well, it, yeah, we'll just use these. Okay, so bless. You right. stand there for a second. What is it you this time? Cast that web spell you can cast so well. Over there. I care not. You start shooting. Yes. You start rooting tooting shooting. Everyone doing something but Go me, yes. Then. Our quest is, is vain. vain. What does this do? Stun target, save versus wand at negative four penalty negates. Let's go for it. If we can stun him there, we can keep shooting arrows at him. Didn't happen. We're all doomed. Well, if he's going to stand right there, Whatever. then let's see if I can't agonize or scorch or him. You rang? And blindness would be nice if we can get that on him. By temper shield. Let's uh, hold person if maybe possible. Life Actually, no. Let's continue so using the wand of paralyzation. <laughs> he's stunned, but he's saved versus blindness. Uh huh. Melf's acid arrow. There. Fuck him. Fuck him. Straight up Main Street. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy and everything he's about.
Well, let it not be said that I won't complete my journeys. And I won't rage quit. Very much a they're locked in here with me kind of guy. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this end screen in like 20 years. Saravak is a motherfucker. <laughs> Saravak is a bastard. Saravak is a blue butted bastard and I hate him. <sighs> so that's Baldur's Gate 1. Second edition D&D rules. Weirdly unbalanced, but very nostalgic. But we did it. We got through it. Thank you, Andror, for the 10 bits. Thank you very much. Oh, it was fun, though. I had a great time. <laughs> AI programming, Mark, Sailor Moon is my bitch, Dara. Some people have some fun names here. Lee Jiu, uh, Jeet Gui programmer. David, I'll be done with BG and working on MDK2 next week, honest. That really dates this game, doesn't it? But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, it does show that with some resourceful tactics and strategy, you can beat the game with any character and any party can uh, uh, make up. Because my fighter was not a tank. He had no shield. He was just armored and using a big two-handed sword. However, he was not enough to kill Saravak on his own, obviously. Hell yeah, nice use of the chainsaw, Cyborg. That's uh, my Doom chainsaw. And, um, but yeah, I enjoyed the shit out of this. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did this over playing Baldur's Gate 3 for now, because BG3 is just not ready. Very much half-baked. Everyone knows it. Um, it's cool looking, and I can't wait to play it. And I hope that it won't be as um, uneven as this one. Because like I said, I mean, there was not a whole lot of fights that I couldn't prepare well for and counter like that last fight. Because the traps at least are unnecessary. They should have removed at least all the traps. Keep all the strong party members, sure. But I can't lay traps like that, so how is that a balanced fight? It just isn't. <laughs> And then, like, 19 damage resist out of 20 from lightning bolts. Okay, Saravak, what are you wearing, buddy? You got them, you got them rubber boots on. <laughs> boots of grounding or something. As far as I know, they have not made a D&D game with, with the 4th edition rules. 4th edition was swept under the rug pretty quickly, from what I understand. Uh, but let me check. We are right here. I have my laptop. CRPG. 4th edition games. Why haven't we seen a D&D 4th edition CRPG? This was written on Reddit in... seven years ago. <laughs> because of Atari. Atari was the company that held exclusive license rights to D&D games. In the latter portion of D&D 3.5's lifespan, Atari changed their business model. They dropped out of AAA games entirely and moved into social, MMO, and downloadable titles. This continued into 4E with Dungeons and Dragons Online, Daggerdale, and the announcement of Neverwinter, the only notable games during this time period. Two MMOs and one download title. There was a notable legal battle between Hasbro and Atari to get the license back in Hasbro's hands. I do not honestly know what inspired it, but I like to think it was because of Atari's poor use of or lack thereof. Hasbro has the license back now. I don't know Hasbro's intended strategy, but with uh, 5e in the works, they may be waiting for something to promote that. Or they could have already signed up a publisher to release a few titles, and it just hasn't gotten far enough along to be announced. Well, we are in the future, and we know what, what ends up there. We have uh, Solasta, which is a 5e D&D game. We have BG3, which is 5e D&D uh, game. And honestly, Neverwinter is not bad. I'm actually thinking about playing that MMO because um, I played it before and I enjoyed my time in it. I didn't get far, but the idea of user-created custom dungeons is really cool in an MMO. And I got a friend who on Twitter was talking to me about it. And uh, he said he was having a good time with it. So I'm thinking I might work that into the stream at some point. 
As far as Celasta goes, I haven't played up to the point of any new combat besides the intro. It does look inspirational, but it's also another early access game. So if you haven't you know, looked at it yet, keep that in mind. Early access is abound, but it's got great potential as a single player RPG. One of my favorite things is the character personalities. You, um, you still experience cutscenes, but the character personalities shine through the cutscenes in a unique ways. Yeah, it does look raw, 